In this video, we're going to look at adding and subtracting complex numbers. So if we're going to add two complex numbers, we're going to add the real parts together. So here the real part is A and here the real part is C. So what we would do is we would add together A plus C. These numbers are in parentheses not because they have to have parentheses, just to say, hey, I'm a complex number and hey, I'm also a complex number. Now I'm going to use parentheses just to define here's the real part of the uh, sum. And then the imaginary part is going to be when we add bi plus di. So we would say b plus di. So our final answer will also be a complex number, the sum of a and c, and then the sum of b plus d multiplied by i, our real part and our complex part. When we subtract, now subtracting, as always, is a little bit more of a headache than adding. In this case, these parentheses absolutely would be necessary if we are subtracting two complex numbers because we're saying that this whole number gets subtracted, which means, however you want to think about this, you need to distribute the subtraction sign, change the signs, something of that sort. So then if we were subtracting, it would be W minus Y. That's the real parts. We would subtract the real parts. And we would subtract the imaginary parts. So it would be X minus Z times I. Let's look at some examples. We want to perform the indicated operation write the answer in standard complex form. So here we have our first uh, complex number, 3 minus 7i. We're adding to it the complex number, negative 4 plus 2i. So again, we're going to combine the real parts. That would be 3 plus negative 4. 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1. Then we're going to add together the imaginary parts, plus, that would be negative 7 plus 2i. Negative 7 plus 2 is minus 5. So our final answer would be negative 1 minus 5i. In our second example, we're going to subtract two complex numbers. The first number is 8 minus i, and the second number, the one that's being subtracted, is 2 plus 3i. So we want to make sure we're distributing this subtraction sign. That would be our real part would be 8 minus 2, plus the imaginary part is negative i minus 3. Excuse me. Negative 1 minus 3i. Coefficient of negative i would be negative 1. Now we're going to combine our numbers here. 8 minus 2 is 6. And negative 1 and negative 3 is negative 4. So we get 6 minus 4i as our difference in letter B. In letter C, we have a little bit of everything. We have our first complex number is just an imaginary number, negative 5i. Minus, we're subtracting from it, 12 minus i, and then we're adding to it negative 3 plus 8i. So let's start with the real parts. I want to keep in mind that if there's something behind subtraction, there's going to be negatives. If you want to distribute the negative so you don't forget, you could do that too. Um, I'm going to start with my real parts. It's going to be minus 12 and minus 3. I only have two real parts because this first number didn't have a real part. And then I, have, I should have three complex parts. So first I have negative 5. I want to be careful here. I'm distributing the subtraction. So this becomes a positive i, and the coefficient of positive i is 1. So plus 1. And then this is addition, so plus 8 times i. Negative 12 and negative 3 make negative 15. And before I put a sign, it's going to be plus. Negative 5 plus 1 plus 8, that would be negative 5 plus 9, which would be positive 4i. So when we combine these three complex numbers in letter C, we get negative 15 plus 4i.